Good afternoon. There is a reason why I'm concerned about how the news is being approached, especially here on YouTube, and especially by the quote-unquote prepping channels. And that is because it's only a matter of time before all of their exaggeration, all of their lies, all of their nonsense is used against us. And then you have a situation to where people like us that try to tell the truth, that try to approach this stuff with a level head, are no longer able to do so because of the people that lack self-control because they want that click, 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 ching, ching, ching. So here we have an article that just came out on RT. This is a prime example of why I just it, I despise all of the nonsense that's on YouTube. The headline says, Conspiracy theorists threaten mainstream media, says Canadian PM. The article reads, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Wednesday blamed social media for preventing major news outlets from shaping public opinion the way they used to. Now, I don't know if you read that the same way I do, but I read that as they are no longer able to propagandize the way that they used to. Let's continue on. Says the Liberal Party leader took his message to the conservative stronghold of Alberta, sitting down with radio host Ryan Jesperson for an exclusive 30-minute interview on his Real Talk podcast. There is out there a deliberate undermining of the mainstream media, Trudeau said, answering a question towards the end of the interview. There are the conspiracy theorists, there are the social media drivers who are trying to do everything they can to keep people in their little filter bubbles to prevent people from actually agreeing on a common set of facts the way CBC and CTV, when they were, only, or when they were our only sources of news, used to project across the country at least a common understanding of things. So, I mean, I, I don't get a good feeling with what he's saying there, but he's clearly talking about the individuals out there that will say anything to get that click, 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 ching, ching, ching. Earlier this month, Trudeau denounced the move by Bell Media to lay off many of its local journalists and sell 45 of its 103 regional radio stations, arguing that local journalism holds Canadian democracy together. There are massive changes that need to happen in our media landscape, and the government can try to create conditions and incentives for it to happen, he told Jesperson on Wednesday. We're putting money toward local independent media, Trudeau added, having argued a moment earlier that such overt funding would compromise news outlets as mouthpieces of the government. In June 2023, the Canadian Parliament passed the Online News Act under which search engines and social media platforms would have to compensate news outlets for posting their content. While Google has complied, Facebook is choosing to be bad guys about this, Trudeau told Jesperson. Meta has responded to ONA by blocking all news content by Canadian publishers on Facebook and Instagram. Ultimately, it's up to Canadians to declare they don't want to accept the encrapification of news, Trudeau said, borrowing the phrase from British Columbia Premier David Eby. Trudeau's comments on the podcast also echoed those but made by former U.S. President Barack Obama in a May 2023 interview to CBS. Obama named a divided media as one of the things he was worried about, noting that the U.S. once had three TV stations and people were getting a similar sense of what is true and what, is in, what isn't, what was real and what was not. How do we return to that common conversation? How can we have a common set of facts? The 44th U.S. president wondered at the time. So you see, that's what they're going to do. They're going to use the nonsense that's spat out by so many of the, the YouTube channels, just as an example, and it, it's covering all social media. They're going to use that against us. And unfortunately, the individuals doing this stuff have absolutely zero self-control. They have no, no respect for the truth. They don't have any respect for the facts. 
All they want to do at this point is try to cause as much fear as possible so they can sell as much crap as possible and the next day rinse and repeat. We have to figure something out, folks. The only answer that I can give is something that's not going to produce any fruit, and that is for everyone to stop clicking on the nonsense. That's just not going to happen. There are so many people at this point that are so addicted to the bull crap, to the constant, everyday panging of fear from these same creators. And what can we do? I can't support silencing them because that's what they're trying to do here. So I, I don't have the answer for this. But I know where it's going to wind up because of these people, and I use that term loosely, won't stop. Not as long as they can personally benefit from it. Shalom.